This is TJ with Tech Made Easy. Welcome to my channel. My channel is all about making things affordable, practical, and easy. And what we're going to be talking about today is this 10 gig home networking starter kit for only $317. That includes the, the 10 gig switch, all, the por all five ports of 10 gig, includes two networking cards, and the cables to go along with it, all for $317. Now, we're not going to just be doing that, but I'm going to show you how to install the drivers and the settings that you need for these 10 gig NIC cards. Part of the reason why we're getting them so cheap is because these uh, there's some used options and when you buy them used they don't come with the drivers so this will, t this will show you how to install the drivers with those as well. Let's get started. Okay so now let's go ahead and take a look at where where I'm getting all these prices from. So let's take a look. This is a five port 10 gigabit switch for $250. Um, this is a great deal. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So again, all these ports are 10 gigabit, but they also support 100 megabyte, one gigabit, two and a half gigabit, and 10 gigabit. All right, so for 250 bucks, this is a really good price. If you need 5 gigabit, there is another option here, and it's not that much more. Um, and it is this uh, TP-Link. This is also 5 ports. Um, and this is, all, all these 5 ports support 100 megabit, 1 gigabit, 2.5 gigabit, 5 gigabit, and 10 gigabit. And I think it's for about $10 more. And so um, this is a great deal, great deal. Maybe $15 more. But now this is a thing. If you can swing it, depending on what your needs are, and the pricing that I that I uh, that I have on my YouTube on the, on the thumbnail is for the TrendNet. Um, but if you really needed more than five ports, um, you could go ahead and get this TP-Link ten or eight port. These are all the same thing as the uh, five port one. They're all <clears throat> they're all ten gigabit, five gigabit, two and a half gigabit, one gigabit, five hundred gigabit. So this is the one that I actually bought. I bought this about a year ago, and I actually have two of them because I have one of my what I call my server room and then what I have that I, is in my office here that, that I have my computers in that I do all my experimenting with um, but and it's been great works great no no issues so now let's talk about the network cards okay so let's go ahead we're gonna look at eBay for our, our network cards so we're gonna get used network cards so if I click on this here one of the things that you want to do is you in your description when you go to search, you just want to put in X540. X540 is an Intel 10 gig uh, networking uh, uh, chip that a lot of manufacturers put on their cards. But not only that, it's for it's an RJ45, which we need RJ45 to go into those switches I just showed you. So when you put this in, it's just going to pull up Intel networking cards. Now, those chipsets. A lot of manufacturers use them like Dell, HP, so on and so forth. But let's just take a look here really quick what's coming up. I have never seen this before. These cards, this card is $17 and it's a dual port 10 gig NIC. Um, I don't know. I don't know about these. I might order, I might buy one of these just to see if it's legit and it really works. Um, but I have never seen a brand new 10 gig NIC for that low of money. And they have several of them in here from China, um, ranging from that to $20. And so that really, I, I don't know. I've ordered some things from China that were used um, and they work fine. But I've ordered like SSDs and that were, you know, four terabytes for 20 bucks. Yeah, right. Yeah, those were pieces of, they didn't work right. As soon as you copy too much information, they just crash. And so, so these, I, I really, it's just, I just don't know um, on those. So right now at this point, I couldn't recommend these because I've never tried them out, but I tried out, I have a lot of used network NICs from Qualcomm to Intel chipsets, uh, Asus that I bought used. So let's just go down here and we'll find the used ones. And now here's, and this is the thing, is that most of the ones you buy from America should be from recyclers. But here, we've got, we've, we've got this Intel, and it says it's brand new, but these look like the ones from China. 
So I don't know. I would be leery of these because they say brand new. So and they look exactly like the ones from China. But if we go down a little further, we pay 24, 25 bucks. Here's one here that's a Dell, um, and it's a dual port for 25 bucks. Um, if we keep on going down, here's a silicon. Uh, but it's again, it's a, it's got the Intel chipset on it. This one has Intel chipset on it. So that's my whole point is that you can get into these. Now this one's coming from Hong Kong, um, but it looks it's obviously used. Um, so these other ones, if we click on them, they're pro they should be coming from the United States. Yeah, this one's coming from California, so that's from a recycler. Um, but so on and so forth. So I. I, I'm just I just question the ones that are that are coming from China. I've just never seen that before. So while I was in the process of editing the video for this, I went ahead and decided I was going to order one of these. I want to see if they're legit. Um, I won't get it in time for this video, but I'm going to leave a comment later on after I get this. So uh, if you want to revisit it and see if I've left a comment, um, you could do that also. So anyway, see here's another Intel one. Oh, this one's parts only. You got to be careful, parts only. So the bottom line is, is you're you're going to be paying anywhere between twenty-five and thirty dollars, thirty-five dollars maybe, and you don't have to get this uh, Intel chipset. You can get the others, but because we're buying these used, uh, um, and Windows may not have see the network card to automatically install a driver. So I'm going to show you how to install the drivers for these network cards. Um, and one of the reasons why we were putting in um, uh, this chipset is because it's an RJ45 chipset. And you need RJ45, so you see here, you'll see here RJ45 uh, ports um, because we are, we're using RJ45 switches. Uh, but if you just type in 10 gig network, then you might get one, you might get an old, you might get the server type like this one here. Yeah, it's, it's less money, but it takes a different connector. And we're not, unless you have a need for that and, and you have you have a switch that that can take those other connectors then by all means buy them because they are these cards are cheaper and you'll see right right here here's another one for fifteen dollars so what if you don't want to buy used okay so let's go to Amazon if you just type in Amazon 10 gig NICs you're gonna get NICs for around seventy to ninety dollars maybe a hundred dollars um, I haven't used this one here. I don't know what it's like. I did buy this one because the PCI slot is smaller than, than, than the ones that I've gotten from eBay. And I have a computer that I'm making a server. And the only PCI slot is this PCI slot here, or this size right here. Um, excuse me, because I, I, don't, I don't know if it's PCI 1 or 2. But I have, to, I have to use a smaller one. But I haven't done it yet. Um, so I don't know how this performs, but you know all these ones on eBay. Obviously, you can return them pretty pretty easily if something doesn't work right on them, so on and so forth. So now let's just go to uh, our cables. Um, so this is a great deal on cables, especially if you don't have any uh, cables. Um, now let me just talk about cables. If you do have Cat 5 es those will work. My house is networked with Cat 5e. I get 10 gig across that. Um, and some of them expand from 50 to 100 feet, 150 feet, and I don't have a problem running uh, 10 gig networking through my house. But if, if you if you need these, this is a great deal because this this gets you a starter kit of three foot, six foot, 10 foot, 15 foot, 20 foot, 30 foot, and 50 foot. That's a lot of cable for $16. All right, so now what? Now let's go ahead and go to the desktop, the Windows desktop, and see how you install these drivers. Okay, so when you install your driver, one thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to uh, Device Manager and just type in DEV and it'll pop up here. And uh, what you're going to want to do here. Now, unfortunately, I already did all this, but my recording didn't work out. So um, so it'll, it'll be a little different. But but we, what we want to do here is we want to go to Network Adapters. Now, now this, this adapter right here is my Intel X... 540 um, but it and it does recognize it now because I use snappy driver to install the driver but but it'll show up as unrecognized when you first put that in um, maybe some of your windows might recognize it maybe some of them won't um, 
but this is if they if 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 the driver isn't recognized. So what we got to do is we got to go to Snappy Driver, and uh, so Snappy Driver. Um, we just we just type in Snappy Driver in our browser, hit enter, and it'll bring us to this uh, Snappy Driver install. And make sure up in the up here it says EDITools.org. I'll leave a link in the description below though, just so, uh, and I'll leave it to this download page that we're at right here. But uh, at any rate, what you're going to do is you're going to hit download. I've already downloaded it, so I won't down. It only takes a sec to download. You won't. You don't want to use this one because this downloads everything. It's 50. Oh, uh, what 50 gigabytes? All you need is to download this one. So once you download that, then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go into your downloads folder, and you're going to unzip this. So uh, let's go ahead and extract this just to our download directory, and okay once that's extracted then we're going to go ahead and launch this tool right here uh, the 64-bit one this SDI X64 we'll go ahead and launch that and now what's going to happen when you launch this it's going to come up downward download network drivers only so we're going to go ahead and click on that because that's all we need we just need the network drivers so um, now <clears throat> now you don't have to do anything at this point it takes a minute see how up here it says downloaded so what it's doing is it's um, it's getting ready to find those files and download it does take a minute now you can see it just started here so this takes a while to download that so we're gonna pause I'm gonna pause the video here when it's done downloading I'll show you the screen that you get okay so now that this is downloaded this is the screen you're gonna get and it's gonna show your network devices on your computer so this first set here is the motherboard one um, so to tell the difference remember we remember we ordered the Intel x54 T which is right here now it won't be in blue but because I already installed this uh, that's why this is in blue so I don't need to install it again but what you do is you just click this here and then you hit install two, and it'll install those drivers. And then you're ready to go. So once those, once those two, and the reason why there's two is because this particular card has two ports. If you get an Intel uh, X, X540 with one port, then it'll just show one port. So that's all you have to do to install that driver. And the reason why, again, why I'm showing you this is because you may end up purchasing a card that isn't an Intel card. Um, and you just don't you may not even know where to go to get those drivers and even if this is even with Intel to go and get those drivers you may not know the right uh, a driver to get this is just the easiest way to update a driver but I would definitely try and get uh, an Intel X540 um, now don't get me wrong I bought other cards and they showed up in here as well uh, but but you're guaranteed to have it'll find a driver for this uh, Intel X540 540 uh, 10 gigabit network card so once you do that then we are ready to go as far as our 10 gig oh uh, let's go back we're not quite ready what we're gonna have to do here in our device manager is is we're gonna we need to click on the network adapter here now I've already done it here but this is what you want to do um, once the driver in is installed you got to tell you got to tell the device that it's a 10 gig card. Um, so you you just you just click on your X540 here, go here to Advanced, uh, and go here to Jumbo Packs. Now it will be it will be on Disabled when you hit this. So you want to hit 9014 on your Jumbo Packs. And then what you want to do here is you want to come down to Speed and Duplex. Now again, it, the default is auto negotiate, uh, but what you want to do is you want to set it on 10 gig full uh, full duplex, and you want to do it for each one of these ports. And I've already done it for this one, so I don't have to do it again. So now let's plug into our net our our 10 gig card. Okay, what we're going to do right now first is first thing we're going to do is just copy a file to our desktop through our 1 gig file. And, I, and I've got a server here that I'm just going to grab a file. And just to show you that right now our desktop is only copying at one gig so let's copy this over and you're going to notice here that it's only it's only copying at one gig
So I'm going to go ahead and stop that. So now let's switch to our new network card or our 10 gig card and copy some files. Okay, so now I've plugged my uh, network cable into the 10 gig card. So let's uh, copy this over and see what we get. And there we are. We are at 10 gigabit speed. Zip, and we're done. Stop. The reason why, even in Linux, you got to go in and change your settings just like you do on Windows. So I'm just going to click on Network Settings here. And it's a little bit different depending on which distribution you're using, but it works about the same. The one thing we have to change is we have to change those jumbo packages. In Linux, it's, it's called the MTU, so you just change that to 9014. You apply that and you're set to go. Now you may have to stop and start your network through the GUI or through the command line or restart your computer for that to take effect. But that's all you have to do there. I've already done that, so that's all I'm going to do here. And so now what we can do is now we can start copying 10 gig in our on our Linux box. And so what I'm going to do here is uh, let's just drag this. This is a 10 gigabit file. I'm going to go ahead and hit this. And what you're going to see here in this chart is we are approaching 800, 900. So we're 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 right at so 1.2 gigabits here is really 10 gigabits because here's where 800 gigabits and there we are so um, <clears throat> there's our 10 gigabit speed on Linux so one comment I want to make here once you go to 10 gigabit in your home um, it just especially if you have a server and you're copying a lot of files over to that server um, now again your server has to be able to perform to copy 10 gigabits over but if you're copying uh, to an SSD drive or an NVMe drive, you're going to see that that it copies faster. My servers are 10 gigabit servers. The hard drives I put in them, the controller cards are they're all fast, and so I can copy. In fact, I'll just do that right here. If I copy this over to the server, um, you're going to see here. And I'm, uh, the next video I have coming up, I'm going to talk about how to to do a 10 gigabit server and so on and so forth. And so that's <clears throat> that's my 10 that's copying over to my 10 gigabit server so once once your server once you have my point is, is once you have 10 gigabit in your home you're not going to want to go back especially if your server can handle the throughput of 10 gigabit it's great anyway this is TG with tech made easy i hope that was helpful in getting you started with 10 gig networking have a great day thanks now that was easy peasy